Oh my gosh, my stream manager started right away. That's kind of a first. Let's go. So yesterday I beat the end, the boss, not the end of the game. And then I got to like a mountain area. I think I'm supposed to meet somebody at the top of the mountain. Hey, baby red, how's it going? It's good to see you. How have you been? I'm okay, meh. Oh. Vacillating? What, what does that mean? Oh, okay, like oscillating. Okay, gotcha. I actually had that song stuck in my head today. I didn't think it was possible, but it was. Sorry to use pedonculous words to expedite my loquimations. I haven't heard loquimations. What's, what's that? I'm gonna need the Merriam-Webster on that one. Oh no no! Made up, okay gotcha. I hit the wrong save file. Which there was probably an easier way to back out to the main menu, but oh well. Accurate. <laughs> I'll go with a 48 inch hog. Oh god. Oh god. Almost a 100 inch hog. Streamer pins their own 100 inch hog. <laughs> that's uh, I feel like that's Twitch in a nutshell though. Okay, I will hit the right save file this time. 51% faded, let's go. Get at it. We want this one, the top one. Okay, I need to be stealthy. <laughs> I, I realized that yesterday after I tried the run and gun method. Didn't work out so well. You're very nice to ask how I'm doing, Court. I care, baby bread, or should I say baby hog? The Discord name becomes more appropriate. <laughs> Okay, there was a- That noise is just fucking atrocious. Call me anything. <laughs> but not surely, right? No surely. Oh, we don't want those. I know that was uh, making me sick. This tastes great. He's so enthusiastic. Love that. Okay. 
Then I absolutely 110% came up on somebody around the corner here. Hi, Ishii. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Okay, so we see this motherfucker here. Those are all birds on the ledge. It just, it looks like he's looking straight at me. Uh. I haven't played Zelda. I really, really wanted to, but I didn't. HQ. This is HQ. What's going on? How is he not dead? HQ. This is HQ. Also, my suppressor stopped working. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Item management. How do I? Um. Oh no, wait, I can do suppressors from the main menu. Okay. HQ, do... please respond. This is HQ. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Nervies. Oh no. Hold your breath and don't make a sound. Here they come. A thirty five inch hog. Let's go, Angel. Decent. Decent showing. I don't know what was going on yesterday with all those huge hogs. Abnormally large hogs yesterday. I don't know. There must be something in the water or something. You know what I got a free sample of in the mail today? Loop. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I've gotten free samples in the mail before. Like, I actually get free cosmetics to write reviews for sometimes, but like sometimes I just get like free samples and usually it's like deodorant, like shampoo and conditioner, a face wash, shaving cream, something, stuff like that. I got lube today. Lube. No more caution, no more caution. WD 40, surely. No, it's called like skins or something. I can go get it. I'll get it when I inevitably have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's just sitting on my counter. I don't know really what to do with it. It's like a single serving of lube. I, I, I mean, <laughs> what do I do with that? <laughs> do I put it in my purse, carry it around? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, single serving of lube. <laughs> I heard something about lube. I had watermelon lube that smelled really good. I remember having something like that in high school, but it was solely for the giggle factor. Like, I think I got it at Spencer's 
you know, when I was with all my obnoxious teenage friends just giggling and buying inappropriate things. It was just the funniest thing in the world. snake and I'm stuck on a rock. like a poisonous scorpion. The vulture's already coming to eat us! <laughs> Talk about an opportunistic feeding. Holy. Okay, where'd that scorpion go though? Okay, I don't want to be by the scorpion. That's not gonna be good. Just, okay, stay away. HQ, respond. This is HQ. Shit! I'm out of ammo! In my silent gun, at least. Why didn't the vulture eat it all? Damn it.
It's like all I have is I have loud weapons only. And I did the whole like running and stun grenade strat yesterday and it did not work. Not in this area. Also, this gun is just like not as powerful as, I don't forget what gun that I was using. I don't know, it was a sidearm in Metal Gear Solid 2? Uh-oh. Why is it saying low battery? It's like not recognizing, I leave this plugged in all the time. I think the cord's going bad or something. It doesn't have a good connection. Was it the M9? Like, it felt very accurate and it felt like the range on that thing was just incredible. This thing, I, I consistently overestimate the range of this gun. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like I'll make it, it'll be fine. Like, it'll do enough damage. It does not. a god gun in Metal Gear Solid 2. That's why the GameCube remake of Metal Gear Solid 1 was a cakewalk because they added the M9 to it. Oh. That would make a big difference. And I mean, like, the laser sight, like, I mean, I don't play a lot of shooters, but, like, 2 was just, like, it was so generous. It was so kind. That's my kind of shooter. <laughs> This one, I, I don't even know if I'm pointing it at the right place. I definitely overestimate <laughs> the range a lot. It's just not the same. You could just spawn into a room, trank all guards, and instantly just roam around. And the trank works for a pretty long time. Like it, it is, it's long enough that I don't feel like I'm constantly looking over my shoulder once I do it. It's like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. Like it's, on normal, I wouldn't say that this game is hard. But it's like the guns definitely don't give you a ton to work with. Nervous. This is like just a shitty setup. This game just makes you strategize a lot more, basically. I mean, like, I feel like I have to be way more patient during the boss fights. Like I did in one almost. Whereas two, like, I didn't really have that sense. An invisibility potion or something. <laughs> hey Panda, how's it going? It's going. I beat the end yesterday. That was fun. And now I'm trying to make it up or across this mountain. Maybe a little bit of bowl. Hey Anakin, how's it going? Good to see you. Metal Gear Solid arrive. Obvious strat here is for you to CQC a guard, then throw him off the cliff just like you threw all the guards into the water and help yourself to on the tanker. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. And it's like, and if I go for that one, this one on the right is just... He's gonna see me. He's gonna see me.
And I'm out of ammo. Like, if it was one or the other, I would, I would definitely attempt it, but this is not a great setup for me. Just got back from class. I hope class went well. Hopefully it was an enjoyable day of class. Okay, I need you to cooperate, Snake, okay? Thank you. Oh, and there's two really close together again. You never enjoy class? Never, Anakin? Not once? In five, I'm trying throwing clips on the other side of where the guards are to get them to look at the clip and keep doing it until you sneak up on them, but I don't know how, if it works here or not. The one time that I did try to throw clips, it did not work at all. At all. This is a disaster. This is actually a fucking disaster. God damn it. This one's looking at me. This one I need to go after. This is just not gonna go well. Commit to the chaos. Or right, you know what? Let's keep that. Anakin with a 20 stream watch streak. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, watching stream high. I'm honored. I'm so glad that I'm your choice of baked entertainment. Let's fucking go. The one mad lad who charged in there with an RPG 7. This is, this is not going to work. But you know what? We came this far. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know the loadout was here. I mean, this is still not gonna work. Oh, they got the big guns. Yet. 
actually wild? How am I not dead? They just gave you AK-47 bullets that game devs want you to go in chaos mode. <laughs> Do they? Do they? Uh, this is crazy right now. That's damn good. You can actually use iron sights on full auto guns. I, you can apparently, but I can't remember the button combination. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Did you see me like struggling to get the, the view? I kept pressing right bumper. It's once you have it held down with X, like to shoot, you then press left bumper. Which like on the sniper, like it feels more natural, I guess, because it's like, yeah, you're just going slower. But like with the automatic weapons, it's like chaos. Hi, I eat yoga pants. Welcome, welcome. Snake, try to remember the basics of CQC. We're just going in guns blazing right now. And I'm I'm about to die. I'm for sure about to die. I I don't come back from this. But it was fun. It was a fun attempt. Watch the scorpion Control get here. me. The scorpion's what's gonna Outside take me out. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. I mean, my camo's at 80%, but come on. Also, there's a helicopter. Hi, Misa. Thanks for the good luck. I'm gonna need it. I'm doing some dumb stuff today. I mean, if they come back through right now, I'm not gonna shoot. Cause yeah, the guy was standing where the vulture is at and said, where is he? He must be around here somewhere. Yeah, I mean, but my camo's at 80%. I... Uh-oh. That scorpion's looking at me funny. Don't come over here. This is unbelievable. This is not how I thought this was gonna go at all. Those birds are munching. What the fuck? No, Scorpion, stay over there. Stay over there! The 
the vulture stares at you. You're next. That's ominous as fuck. The helicopter's making me really nervous. I'm just having flashbacks to the hind fight. What the fuck? Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. I mean, I feel like I should still wait to move until my health is better. Right? Look at this fucking scorpion. Scorpion wants me dead. Oh, he's coming. He's coming for me. I'm so nervous about the scorpion now. I'm just worked up from, I guess, everything that just transpired. I'm in a tizzy. Actually wild. Generous, come on. I don't want to get this close to him, man. I don't really have any suppressors on my guns, so if I were to shoot, it would make noise. And they are like there's a helicopter overhead, there's a lot of patrols over here, they would come looking. Fucking great A chaos over here. Oh, you know what? I think I did pick up ammo for my pistol that I have a suppressor for. Like, my Trank doesn't currently have a suppressor. But yeah, this one does. The 45 caliber does. You're right. I just was out of ammo a minute ago, so I just kind of wrote it off. I was like, I can't use that. Okay. I was like, a Hind D? What's a Russian gunship doing here? That, I was just saying I'm having flashbacks. The helicopter noises are making me very nervous. The suppressor can break in this one? Yeah. I already went through one suppressor today, and I think I have... I'm on... I have two left, like, but... One of those is already attached. Okay. You could have destroyed the helicopter, and then instead of it being here, would have been the guys on the little floating platforms. That sounds like some Mario shit. Bla guys on the floating platforms? What are you talking about? You have full aggro here and said, I kind of was forced. My hand felt a little forced.
I hear somebody. I guess they're walking like overhead. There's some hovercraft thingies. I don't think I know what you're talking about. That does sound like some Mario shit though. I think there's a turret right there. Do you want to save? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I've... The knife isn't scary, it doesn't hey, make noise. Have I've never caught off guard by the knife. The nope, haven't seen that one. They were after flying on the river and traveled down in the grove after being- the Oh! American now I remember what you're talking about. Finds that the now I remember. Is this pacifistic Captain Nemo. The scene where the giant squid attacks Captain Nemo's submarine, the Nautilus, is breathtaking. The movie was filmed the in Cinemascope, and it was great to see it on the big screen. Dialogue I've gotten from her. Is there something that I'm supposed to do with that? Do they want me to take down the helicopter? Huh? Nobody's gonna get in that and start shooting me, right? Right? <gasps> HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into hot. Ah! What's going on? Respond. What's going on out there? I was gonna shoot the radio, but what? I mean, it's right there. Jaw of steel. Shoot the radio. But Did he just tank a headshot? No, I think I got him in the throat. Like, my hand shook a little, and, like, I re-lined the shot, and I should have waited to just line it back up. But I- Okay, so I was just gonna shoot the radio, and it doesn't look like it's on? Am I like miss seeing that? <gasps> Isn't okay. Oh, that's n that's not a tunnel. It looks like a tunnel, right? Am I tripping? Guys, am I seeing things? What the fuck? It looks like you should be able to crawl through there. like 4 30 a.m when you start streaming probably gonna miss a couple i upload all my vods 
Well, all the ones of like, you know, playthroughs that I'm doing are 100%. You can crawl through there. Do I need to move his body? What's going on? do with the turret I need to scope out this situation before I think about anything with the turret like that guy just came up right behind me and I still flub up to the shot I really am digging these rock tunnels very helpful. Hard to interact and give me hints. <laughs> I'll make it, I'll make it. Yeah, like that. I was like, I hate the stealth of this. Fucking, I'm using the turret. If I knew the area was clear and all I had to worry about was the helicopter, I would get in the turret and I would start shooting the helicopter. But it's like, I know these people are on the cliff. It's like, I at least gotta get these people taken care of before I think about getting in there. Cause then I'm just a sitting duck, right? because that looks like the edge of the mountain. Oh, maybe I do go that way? Oh no, I go up behind me. gonna wait for the helicopter to go by again I guess. I hate that you have to be like running at whatever you want to jump on top of, like, with force. Like, it's not a simple, like, face in the direction of the obstacle, like, press on the directional pad, press Y. It's like, run full blast at <laughs> said obstacle, press Y and hope it works out. Is 
Is there any truth to the rumor that there's an achievement if you jump off the cliff? I'm not finding out today, Panda. You can fire up your game and find out, though. I won't stop you from that. Hi, my name is Snake, and I get stuck on rocks. Often. And I also do tactical espionage. Imagine. Oh no. Arr, nar. Look at all these bozos! What the fuck? <gasps> Look at that big turret. Whoa. Hey, Farlof, how's it going? Good to see you. Only achievement for jumping off the cliff would be chat clapping and cheering you off. <laughs> well, maybe one day I'll do it for the notoriety. Perhaps. Today is not that day. That was a good one. That was a good one. Damn it. <sighs> 67 inches respectable. I had a 99 inch hog today. Pretty good. Yeah, in this circumstance, I greatly prefer the meowing over the alert noise. <laughs> Gonna give me a heart attack. <gasps> I didn't want to stand up like this, but here I am. Too late now. <laughs> he just saw his friend go down and he not doing anything. Yeah, he turns around. I didn't see anything. Mm, I'm not gonna deal with this. This is way above my pay grade. In there. I was just waiting for him to get back up because the range on this gun is just. No. Yeah, I want to fall down. <clears throat> you pulled the 99? Cause, yeah, because I do the... I have it set to 1 to 100. 27 inches, not terrible. Ran out of suppressors at the beginning of this area. After that, her stress meter maxed out and has been there since. True. I have, uh... <clears throat> been panicking. Okay, but we got these guys. And I think that's the door for the next area. So theoretically, I should be able to shoot the helicopter now. Maybe. I could use the stuff, but like also probably not worth standing up. If this 75% camo works this well, probably not worth standing up. Oh my god, I saw the <laughs> I saw the rotation of the ammo box in there and I thought it was another person. I was like, usually, you know, these people aren't hanging out in structures that are this small RPG 7 anti tank rocket launcher Woo! can't equip in prone position. I don't like that. Damn.
Hog leaderboard is in the works, though. I looked at Sammy, and there's nothing currently available that is, like, an easy plug for that, but... I don't know. If I watch, like, several hours of YouTube videos, I might be able to figure something out on my own with Sammy. I pass out and catch the end of the stream. Get a good nap in, get some rest. Big chillin'. I thought I had the the blaster equipped. I didn't. I had the AK equipped. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Gotta double check the weapon. God damn it. Classic. I know there is somebody behind me now, which I suspected with all those little concrete structures and everything. And then, yeah, now I'm seeing, I, I guess it's another turret up there. You know what? I don't see anybody on it. So I guess that's good. Footing. I'm dragging this out. Just like I'm far enough in this little area, I don't want to do something stupid. And I'm sure, you know, I will eventually do something stupid. Hey, Gadazak, how's it going? Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Well, I'm glad that little spectacle is over. I need to- I just need to glance down and double check which weapon is equipped before I start lining up shots and stuff. I feel like they did do that on purpose, though. Uh-oh. Did they find that guy's dead body? Are we about to do this all over again? They found his body. Fuck! This is HQ. I just- I feel so vulnerable exiting this structure. It's like there's the chopper circling, 
I have no idea where the two, at least two people are out there right now. Can't you just ignore the dead bodies? Just pretend it never happened. Okay, so I don't want to say that I'm gonna do this or anything, but if I were to 100% one of the three games on the remaster disc, which one is the easiest? Like, I was thinking this game, you know, is probably easiest. It's got so many cutscenes and shit. The way the gameplay is broken up, it's like, I don't know if it's really conducive to, like, grinding out achievements and stuff. I don't know. Like, my thought was two. It's like, two is like its own self-contained little thing. Peach? Were you trying to do the, the jiggle physics peach? Ishii? <laughs> Were you trying to do this one? My favorite peach. I was on one. I I much prefer the meow today over the alert noise. Parlov almost gave me a heart attack when he came in. But I was on one for a while. I was trying to get every and this was before I was basically an emote editor in everybody's stream, but I was trying to convince everyone to add peach. Because the jiggle physics oh it's a good emote. It's well done. The loop is nice. The animation is nice. It's a nice emote. So very close to me. HQ, this is HQ. Which I know. This game, I feel like more than the other two, Understood. is misleading with the direction of sound. Especially, yeah, in terms of distance. It's... And the directional mic does not help. It, it can kind of help you get like a general radius, but it like, I don't feel like it gives you a good enough range to justify using it at all. Not like the second one. turrets and I kind of hate it. They really want me to- they are setting me up to fight this helicopter, aren't they? Flashback to the first game. Oh, Christ almighty.
Okay, well I have the loadout, so you know what? Let's just do really stupid things. You know? I think I've ever done. Fooby <laughs> with a 39 inch hog. Pretty good. Pretty good. We had some small squeeners today. So, nice showing. This is so funny. <laughs> oh, look who showed up. Where's the other helicopter? wondering how I'm going to load right now. My name is Snake and I get stuck on rocks on the regular. So I can't go in this one? I've never seen a door like that in this game. It it's weird that you can- Oh! Oh, are you supposed to use the TNT here? I haven't even used that yet. X to set B to detonate. Yeah, because I haven't. This door looks, uh, sus. X to set. Let's go. Easy. Oh, I want to throw these away. He didn't like these and they didn't really do anything. Why would I eat a scorpion? Not oh, fear factor. Not too bad. Hmm. 
Very stealthy. With the TNT. <laughs> Detonations. Very stealthy. Very. Oh, they're all Russian rations that I picked up. Why would I eat a scorpion? Eats a fucking cobra and said, okay, well, I personally would pick the snake over the scorpion. I don't know. It's like the hard exterior of the scorpion. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it'd be like eating like a crab with a shell on. Yuck. I do love crab though. Holy fuck. I fuck with crab. Okay, so I do think that this area is sufficiently cleared at this point. So I'm wondering, you know, is it going to be better to do a helicopter fight right here, right now? Then, like, you know, load into the next area? Wait, can I just, like, cheese this, actually? And then if I immediately turn back around and then save. Easy. You don't have to fight anything if you don't want to. I do kind of want to fight the helicopter. I just want to be smart about it. Well, as smart as possible. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I mean, engaging with it at all is probably not the move, but not for me at least. Especially with how slowly that, uh, what's it called? RPG-7? Something like that? Especially with how slowly that moves. <laughs> so fucked up. Snake, have you ever seen the beast from 20,000 Fathoms? Nope. It's about this monster that comes to life from deep within a glacier as a result of an Wait, I think this one's a repeat now, too. It crosses the ocean and emerges in New York. I especially like the scene where the monster attacks Maybe. the lighthouse and the Maybe one not. where it pops out of a no, valley I've, in Manhattan yeah. and makes She's a big hole in a building. And the last scene on the burning roller coaster was simply incredible. And because I saw it in a drive-in theater, I actually coaster. felt like I was part of the movie. It's funny, isn't it? How you can let yourself get absorbed into these things without thinking even when you know it's not real. Too meta. Stop it, Kojima. Stop it. what's real and what's not isn't always as simple as we think. Well, don't get too absorbed in your mission. It's important to take a rest every now and then. Damn it. It's too accurate. Okay, I know that I can't shoot the launcher. I don't know. What what am I launching with that thing? What what really is that called? This one. RPG7, portable anti-tank rocket launcher. It is a rocket launcher. Oh, here's a snake. I cannot believe that I woke up with the snake eater song stuck in my head. Never did I ever think that that would be the case. Okay, I do want to try this though. This looks fun. Oh yeah, this one moves so much faster. But I am a sitting duck, of course. Uh-oh. Yeah, they do have two helicopters, don't they? Do I 
survive this? Do I start using gears and stuff? Might as well. I mean, I serve. I got out of the last sticky situation. I probably can get out of this one. I probably can. Fingers crossed. What a thrill! <laughs> it's a good song, and they do have a tendency to play it. It's just these incredible moments. I was gonna say, why would you get into a helicopter fight? This is Metal Gear Solid, but yeah. <laughs> I, were you here for the first helicopter fight, Parlo? That was a disaster. That is why I just saved those. I just, I didn't know if I was coming back from this or not. It, it's just too tantalizing. You can't put the turret things there and expect me not to try them. Try them. <laughs> okay, every everybody remembers the first helicopter fight. Okay, we'll go down in history on the streets. <laughs> I was here for days one, three, eight, and twelve on the first helicopter. <laughs> oh my god. That's like Crash Bandicoot level torture. Oh man. Welcome, good to see you as well. A four inch hog. We won't tell anyone, Kins. Your secret is safe here. <laughs> I hope you're ready for some absolutely zany tactical espionage court style, which isn't very tactical at all. <laughs> I mean, you just can't, you can't put a turret in there and just expect me not to try it. I gotta try it. I just, I tried to do it in a smart way. Oh, I forgot I added that watching stream. I like that one. Man, Uber Eats just doesn't deliver jewel pods. Amsel, what the fuck? Are you addicted to nicotine again? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? That's not good for your brain. Ken says that is degenerate. I'm sorry. I don't think you have to apologize for that one, Ken. You said it. We were all thinking it. I'll do this for like a month or two. Don't do it at all. Don't do it at all. Even for a month or two. It's money down the drain. It just makes your overall health worse. Not worth it. I think, I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Jewels are proven to give small pee pee. Anakin, I'm gonna need you to link your source in the chat. I have not seen that study. I'll already have a small pee pee, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh my god. The helicopter really is right there though. Let's see if they drop anything.
I, I do like that you can switch to the overhead camera, but damn, once you're in a struct inside of a structure, useless. Fucking useless. Parlov, you're too good at this. I'm going to have a medical emergency on stream because of your alert aptitude. Jesus fucking Christ. I hear footsteps though, too. This is not good. I might have come out too soon. Yeah, there he is. <gasps> He's got... He's got the RPG too! Did they think I'm in a helicopter as well? What's he need all that for? Is this revenge from me using the RPG for overpowered kills 10 minutes ago? It might be. It feels like it might be. Huh? Ah! No more suppressor! Goodbye, suppressor. And he shot me with it. An RPG-7, not an RPG-2. Okay, well, Parlock, you you know what I meant by it, two. This is not good. This is not good. We're just gonna take the AK. on another suppressor for this instance. Heartbeat sensor win? It says that I'm at 100. 101. I don't know how accurate this is. I'm losing it. I'm losing it over here. Counter-Strike. Ah, aim. I would never ever put myself in a counter strike situation. Even that shooter that Amsel was playing the Tarkov thing, that is scary. I don't like the realistic stuff like that. Like close as I get to a shooter is Halo, which I feel like for people that play shooters is pretty far away. I'm going to tell my kids this was Call of Duty. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna go down as like the least tactical, tactical espionage snake ever. Which is not an easy feat. What do I need? Ointment? And then the bandage? Or is it taken care of? No, I need the bandage. There we go. Hey, Corvo. <laughs> Gonna tell my kids this was Fortnite. Let's go. <laughs> Good to see you again, Corvo. Always be the least tactical Metal Gear Solid of all time. DSP? Who? I was like, are those your initials? Because I know that we do not play this game the same way. Dude literally tried to no scope the end. Dark side Phil, I have no idea who that person is. I don't know who most streamers are though, to be completely honest. Y'all bring up people that I think are big right now. I don't know. What is this emote? Warcat, let's go. I'm 
trying to heal all the way. That guy's gonna be standing out there with a rocket, the rocket launcher, right? There's just gonna be another one. Another one. I'm gonna save for real, for real. Hopefully I have enough stuff on me. Saving the game, That snake. was something that occurred to me. I was like, well, you know, if I do all these stupid things and, you know, I persevere. I know I'm using up a lot of ammo and items. I think I got a little too comfy because there seemed to be a lot in this area. Oh, I think I accidentally hit B, sorry. I think there's also a new one. The last two were repeats and then we got another new one. I think that was new. Okay, well. Uh, do I need different camouflage? Oh, I can be naked? How come I didn't play the entire game like this? My mistake. What the fuck? I didn't know naked was an option. Wait, I can pretend to be a scientist as well? But I can't get my weapons out with that one, so probably don't want to. I, I only just noticed Hobo. <laughs> yeah. Uh... The inattention to detail is typical. Eva gave you the scientist uniform? Yeah, I used that one. And I can't get the... I did use the scientist disguise earlier. Am I supposed to use it again? Like right now? Like am I really supposed to walk through this heavily fortified camp as a scientist and they're just gonna fall for it? Cause they barely even fell for it the first time. Like they were, they didn't like me being there. No, I was surprised because look, it's the same. It's uh, the same rating as the snow camouflage, which that makes sense to me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so what did I have on before? I had tiger stripe on or leaf on. But when I looked at them, it should, okay. Did anyone just see? I swear to God. I don't know what I had on at that point in time, but it said plus 45 for snow and plus 45 for scientists. I was like, why are these equal? Why are these disguises equal? I'm not losing it. <laughs> Clip it. I swear to God. Replay. Rewind. Hi, Misa. Hard stare. Hard stare is a little intimidating, Misa. You're coming in hot. Also, I like your name paint. Jeremy bit? What? That you think that, oh, I'm losing it. I do kind of like that meme. <laughs> I do kind of like that meme. <laughs> that is a cool name paint. I have been wanting to get 7TV just so I could get the zero with emotes, honestly. Story time? Which should be soon. Oh, I forgot to put my... It's only plus five. I could just be naked. Look at all these people! Get 
to be page five. <laughs> I'm a lot farther than page five, Misa. I think I'm on like page 10. I, I also haven't done that in well, months. But I do remember being much farther than I thought I was. This is so scary. I... actually go anywhere over here. It looks like a dead end. <gasps> he saw me! Oh, no. You didn't see any. Careful, there will be guys here that really like to barbecue. You mean with the rocket launcher? Because I already found one. But I also kind of thought that was possibly retribution for me going in with a rocket launcher as well. I kind of started it with the rocket launcher. In retrospect, that probably was my fault. You ever have grilled snake? No. I always say that I would try anything once, like, especially food-wise, but I don't know about snakes. My ex-girlfriend swallowed snake non-stop. Well, why is she your ex, dude? Unless you legitimately mean snakes, and uh, it was like a conflict of interest because you work at a zoo. They're, I mean, they're gonna see the dead guy here in a second. So I'm kind of fucked. Because there was a new one every day. Amsel with the funny jokes. Sounds like a sound to me, that's what I'm saying. Got an expert. Uh, I am so scared right now. I am just crawling way out in the open. So very scared. Look at this bird. not seen the movie train spotting i think it's on my watch list though she couldn't come back to my earth the level of self-deprecation though oh my god am i saying i'm famished i thought that was somebody else I can eat. Not too bad. I did give up on the rule in self deprecation. <laughs> You're too persistent, Amsel. This is so scary. No, yeah, that was that wasn't me talking, so who was that? They sound very, very close. They sound so close. I wonder where I'm gonna go. I see that big red door. You know how there's armories and other small storage buildings with food and stuff? Yeah. I know I keep pointing this out, but I love the nonverbal communication, the cutscenes of Metal Gear Solid 3, and the next cutscene is a great one. I I mean they've all been pretty good. I gotta say.
Come on, go. I gotta get a move on it. I feel like he's down in that little trench right there, but I'm gonna check out this red door. This might be where I'm supposed to go, though. I don't know. I thought I was supposed to get to, like, the top of the mountain. If you blow them up, it will have an effect on the local soldiers. So armory, their f weapons and ammo is limited. Blow up food storage and they'll be hungry with stomachs growling. Oh. oh. I don't remember blowing one up, though. Oh, I did break. I broke into it and I stole some stuff, though. That did happen. Because there was just like this really suspect wooden door that I had never seen in this game. Like, and you could, I could see under it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use the TNT. So I put the TNT on it and yeah, sure enough, the door blew open. I got the stuff inside. But it was mostly Russian rations, so. And he always complains every time I feed him to him. Okay, yeah. Can't go there. I figured as much, but I was worth a try. Oh, it's just like this one. And then I did the TNT and then I blew it up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? Pretty sure you can just walk in. I don't think so. Unless you literally walk in and like don't hit any inputs. I don't know where I'm going. Help. You must be lurking nearby. I mean they won't come down here though. I just had never seen the wooden door before and I walked up to it and I tried to open it and like just nothing happened. So I put TNT on it, I blew it up, it worked. And I got to take the stuff inside. What's wrong? I'm in HQ. This is HQ. Control here. Oh my god, there's like a lot. safe in the tunnel? Surely I'm safe in the tunnel. I gotta go grab another water. I'll be right back.
whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm back. No funny stuff like jumping on the bed. are hungry. I had nothing to do with that. They don't have any rat ions. Damn it. Understood. Resume your patrol. Let's go. Shrub. There's like dead comrades laying around and I don't know what the problem is but damn I'm hungry Look at that, you just walked through the wooden door. Like walked up to it, pressed Y. Nothing happened. Um every other door in this game you walk up and press Y unless it's like one of those like automatic cutscene type things loadout areas I gotta know at this point though. it's like not even that exciting I like I feel like I'm working something up it's just not gonna be that funny yeah, I think he's to my left myself on stream <laughs> a story I mean truly for the ages for the books we should write that one down pass it on to our children dude they sound so close Pinned close enough. <laughs> Great work, Hobo. Great work.
Oh man, I can't climb on top of this? That's annoying. A 10 out of 10 mod. Oh, now I'm famished. gonna puke though because I ate two in a row maybe you will let's find out <laughs> lucid made mod comments on you <laughs> in my chat <laughs> that's hilarious Last time I looked, I didn't see anybody, any on anybody, so I guess Lucid did that recently. <laughs> I'm just imagining Lucid at the keyboard, like, late at night, essaying. Bad mod, please ban. <laughs> Also is mean to me in the chat, Sag. Big Sag. Well, that was quick. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets oh. pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. Oh. <laughs> Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? What is your robot? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Hmm. A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase two trial of the Shagglehot is about to start, and it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. Oh, great. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. Mm. I'll bet if I kissed you... You taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? Okay. He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. 
There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Oh my god, this place looks terrifying! And there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. Oh no. That's where the Shagohat is. Finally, there's the west wing, which is connected what via just the passage. What happened to my stream to manager? Building. That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the east wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The west wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be colonel class to get in. Colonel class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. How do I do that? Oh, nice nudie poster. Let's closed. fucking go. You look similar from behind. They won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. You don't say. I think I've got just the mask. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? Yeah, I wouldn't be doubting her with the with the vehicles. Right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. What was on her shoe? Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother, and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Oh. Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? I'm not prepared for another incest Does arc. it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? Huh. That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Snake, is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? <laughs> I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. Oh, shit. <sighs> Snake? <laughs> Fucking it up, dude. Get it together. Walked right into that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> uh, this is so scary. See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. 
There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. She's just gonna take off on the bike. That is, it's gotta be freezing up there, dude. <laughs> She's really dedicated to looking hot right now. What the fuck? This guy. Not this guy. <laughs> Jeez. Did he talk? No. He died before I could get it out of him. Jesus. He wasn't the spy then. Look at this. Ain't no way. A transmitter? No way. Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. But does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? <laughs> this is war, Major. A cold war, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades... The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then... who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! I love the suit she's wearing. It is Where so have you been? Kitty? The fear and the end have fallen. CIA dog? That CIA. leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? I think so. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagahod and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy... Well, that I can see myself in the background. Impossible. Like, they can't. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here. I'm sure of it. Well, you got that right. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. Huh? 
Wow, <laughs> what a cutscene, holy, oh my goodness, that was just jam-packed, wow. <laughs> that was a good one too. <laughs> Phase three of the Shago Hog is about to initiate. This one is Naked Snake. I have no idea what I'm watching. God. <laughs> Viewership went up during the cutscene. <laughs> well, of course, of course. One of the most fun areas, in your opinion? It looks terrifying, Narun. Kojima trolled those of us who didn't like Raiden or Raiden I, with the mask. I kind of lucked out, huh, on what I chose. Easy. Mommy? Mark on her shoe from shifting the motorcycle. Okay, I was going to ask what the significance of the boots were. And, like, why did Ocelot just let me go? The snake went deeper than that. 300 viewers! <laughs> Fumbled snake, why are you not becoming solid snake? Hey, Dolphin, sorry, I was balls deep in that cutscene, clearly. Dang, I, talk, I forgot to take my Viagra. The ED strikes again. Didn't even zip up. Yeah, it's got to be freezing. She's like, you know what? I'm pulling away on this motorcycle. I'm going to look hot as hell doing it, which I can appreciate. I can appreciate that. The poncho is hella cool. I like that. I like the texture on it. They did a really good job with that. Me when I run out of fruity pebbles. Yeah, he's just in plain sight. How? Yeah. That seems really odd. Like, you know, they're talking about him arriving there and everything like that. Like, oh, we know he's on his way here. He's definitely going to come here. Yeah, he's right there. He's on the ridge. I can see him. If I can see him, you you can surely see him, right? Did he really just hit her with finger guns after threatening her life? <laughs> Hell yeah. I love everything about that cutscene. When you know all the twists that you'll eventually find, it's even better. The mask and Rykov in general. It was an intense cutscene. Snake doesn't need Viagra. He just needs some venom from the Brazilian watering spider. It, yes, thank you for bestowing us with that information yesterday. Gana was proud of his shoes. When he gave the comment, compliment, he mentioned he got them from Tonya. Tanya. Fruity Pebbles mentioned, let's fucking go. Rykov is basically a Raiden skin in the Metal Gear Solid 3 engine. But I have the mask, right? Am I, do I have to get more stuff, though? Fuck am I going? They said something about a tunnel. Well, wherever it is, it's not that way. No fucking way. 
that Eva's openly trying to seduce Snake for her mission, but she also seems to be actually falling in love with him or at least opening up to him. Well, I mean, yeah, she definitely seems like she wants to bang him for sure. I don't know about love and all that though. I got a spider, Harlov. So next time we'll be ready. We'll be ready for the pretty lady. Actually possible to snipe soldiers in the distance from that ledge. She trying to see the hawk for real for real. Yeah. Yeah. But I got the spider, so we're ready. We're prepared for next time. Eva told you where to go and it showed it in the cutscene. I was barely cognizant at that point with information overload. I remember she like gave me a key, told me something about like a tunnel. I don't know. Other than that, don't know. I was overwhelmed by the panoramic view of the massive facility before me that looks like, you know, it's heavily fortified. I'm one person. I didn't remember either by the time I got to the base. Do you let the spider bite you anywhere or right now? <laughs> Let's find out. For science. For scientific purposes. Let's fucking go. I'm nervous to like walk back out of the store though. Snake butt. Let's fuck. Oh, no scorpion. Me in video games. NPC tells tells me a long description where to go. Then I didn't update the quest marker on my map, so I just go there and hope it's the right way. You know what? I love that about Breath of the Wild. Like, I love the beacons and the stamps that you can put on the map. Love that. Such a nice detail. She's going backwards, right? D I mean, was there somewhere to go from that ledge? It looked like a death drop and not the good kind of death drop. I was going to go look for... I was assuming the key was possibly to that red door that I tried before and it wouldn't open. Oh yeah, good call. Good call, I should say. You want to save? Am I not headed for the red door? Yeah, that's what I, I presumed. Because you, you just don't really encounter a lot of locked doors. And the only other time I think I've encountered a hey, locked Snake, door. Have you ever seen my mother it opened was up, a like, teenage after the next spider cutscene. queen from Mars? I can't say that I have. Neither have I. Okay. Oh yeah, now's the time to jump off the ledge. Best advice ever. That'll be the day. Okay, I'm heading for the other red door that I couldn't open. I misremember following even down the cliff. Now's the time to take the turret, the turret and take down that damn copter. I don't know about all that.
It's the barbecue, guys? Oh, no. I don't like the sound of that. And they keep saying they're hungry. Are they gonna eat me? <gasps> Am I even gonna be able to headshot this guy? Like, look at what he's got on his head. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Who's that? Oh, and he's like way smarter than the other ones. Arr, nar! Like, way smarter than the other ones. dude we're supposed to be looking for this guy's way too blonde and pretty exactly got the right guy okay i gotta i gotta pee. i'll be right back obs where are you We back. Um. Okay, at least I know sort of what to expect this time. I mean, I, I feel so trapped here. Really, no tunnel like off the side or anything.
Dude, I saw my Discord announcement and I thought I was in trouble. I thought I got auto modded. <laughs> Shit. wants to see me actually faint or something on stream, I'm convinced. Oh my god. This ain't no joke, dude. <gasps> here he comes, here he comes, here he comes! <laughs> okay, he's going that way. I could just find one of those fucking tunnels, man. Saying, please cooperate, please fucking cooperate. Just climb up the fucking little hill. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Wait, maybe that's not where I want to go. Where's the fucking red door, man? Oh, okay, it's over there. I can tell your heart rate's back every time I do that. <laughs> it's true. I'm at 102 right now. Damn it. You shoot the tank on their back. It's fun. Uh-oh. Still 102. 104. What the fuck, man? Oh, that was good timing. Too good. Where are those tunnels now? Where are those tunnels when you need them? Oh, this one's a dead end. Oh, but it looks like I already used some of the stuff up, so... Don't worry.
rather the meow right now than anything else. Come on, come on. Come on, buddy, you can do it. I'm passing the door, aren't I? Oh yeah, okay, so we have to wrap back up. one that dropped me like pretty close to where the door was but I also just probably tripping there's one of those big scary guys right there I'm hungry too. What can I say? They keep saying they're so hungry and it's making me hungry. I don't like this. I'm being brainwashed. <laughs> We need the entirety of the Snake Eater theme song as our channel point redemption. I kind of want a snack too. I hope this isn't influencing any of you because it's it's getting me pretty good. I haven't had a ton to eat today and it's making me hungry in a way that I just wasn't before. I only have 40% camo right now. Wait a minute, it's- I can change again. It's like when I'm in the tunnels and like on the- in the like a- uh, cut out like ravine area, they want me in this. And then now that I'm outside of that, they want me in the snow. It's okay, we can have a, a costume change or two or ten. Brainwashing stream, let's go! Who's hungry? These guys are starving, clearly. They are just famished. I'm gonna be so hungry at the end of this though, for real. <laughs> you two camos front and back and so you can just- hungry.
I thought I was loading into another area. That was really weird. Okay. Me looking for food in my kitchen now, but then remembering how I didn't buy enough food to have sex. Damn it. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. It's your fault they're hungry. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't understand that that was what was going to happen when I put the TNT in front of the door. How was I to know? Fucking Twilight Zone decor. <laughs> door, yeah. I, I mean, was I wrong for thinking this was a loadout? Look at it. Just needed to walk a little further, I guess. All the smoke hitting me in the face, though? I was... thought it was already happening for me. I'm glad that there hasn't been an instance where they're insisting that I put the black face paint on. This one. I'm just gonna be really sneaky about all this. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and save. You want to save? When do you think it would be appropriate? Never! I'm just glad the game hasn't like forced my hand into that. You know? When does the game force your hand into e using anything? Well, I mean it doesn't, but it greatly incentivizes some of the camos over the other ones. Which one? My mother, like, the teenage really whatever. Oh, like, that. Sorry. The major was talking to me at the time and I wasn't really paying attention. Don't worry. I'll get it right next time. My name is Snake, and I get stuck on rocks and stuff. Ow. You can always turn in first person. Oh. Can I get another suppressor, please? Or ten? Like ten for each weapon would be great. Oh yeah, they gave me that cigar gas spray. That was cool. I kind of forgot about that. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. I guess I probably don't need the rocket launcher equipped. Hopefully not. What the hell are you doing on the ground? Get on your feet, soldier? Nah. Nurn it, nurn it. 
Does the weight of equipped weapons actually do anything? Not to my knowledge. I haven't felt like a difference with the physics or anything like that. Oh, you do lose stamina faster. I can't see shit. Catchy. <laughs> I think Farlow are long lost brothers, or at least cousins or something. Or nerds. <laughs> nerds are welcome here. I self identify as a dork. Mega dork. Definitely nerds, me too. so empty. Just like waiting for a Home Alone style booby trap. Somebody who does not enjoy my presence here. What is that? Well I was gonna try and take the ladder but How's it going? Good to see you again. Hope you've been well. What's going on? Oh no! Oh no! A bigger, scarier version of the guys outside. Oh my fucking god. I don't like fire. No way. <laughs> what? Oh, no. I am the fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. Oh no. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury! A great and terrible fury at being alive. Now you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. <laughs> Stream watch rage let's fucking go. I fucking love that fire emo. Like I feel like the Elmo one is really overdone, but the people one <laughs> with the red eyes. <laughs> it's like just weird enough. This is also the worst boss as far as backstory. I'm mad. Really mad. And also I have a flamethrower. He doesn't have a dick laser, so you'll be fine. 
This is fine. Um, uh, let me let me phone a friend. The fury is equipped with a powerful bullet. flamethrower. Whatever you do, don't attack him from the front. Get behind him and attack him from there. You'll never get anywhere yep. fumbling around in the dark. You need to be able to see first. Hit him from the Use back. Use the night vision Got goggles. It. Got you could also try using a torch or a cigar. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can't fight if you can't see in front of your face. You need to be able to rely on your vision. You can try the night vision goggles, but keep an eye on the batteries. Don't look straight at the Fury's flames when you're wearing the night vision goggles, though, or you'll be blinded by the afterimage for a while. If he fires the flamethrower, either look away or take off the goggles. If the batteries in the night vision goggles are used up, you can use a cigar or a torch for light. But if you try and get close to him with the light on, he'll know you're there. Keep that in mind. I am so scared right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 53 inches. Oh, I shrunk. Need some Brazilian wandering spider. I think I've got one in my inventory for you, Carlo. Oh my god. Can I get up there? Can I get up there? Hello? No! <laughs> I need to get away from him! I need to get away! I need to get away! Should I really use those or the thermals better? Oh no. Um. This is so stressful. This is, I have not been this stressed out by this game yet. This is extreme. <laughs> oh no. Paramedic, do you have any advice? This isn't a movie snake. Right to him. The music that goes with it too. Creepy shit. The whole atmosphere. I'm. It's just really taking this to an extreme level. I. I'm scared. What can I say? Um, okay, what else should I have on me right now? Surely the rocket launcher in a confined space is a good idea. Quote me on that later. I'm gonna take the TNT off for sure. Um, I wonder if these would do anything. Want to be up high. I don't know how to get up high. Um. Okay, we're not doing this non lethally, so I'll just exchange this or maybe this. 
or this? 12 gauge. It doesn't really look like the difference besides this one has a lot more ammo. Uh, also, just take the fucking suppressors off everything. on my own fucking claymore, dude. Walk right into that one. Who had that one ready? Who had that one ready? Ban that person right now. It was probably a mod. I don't, I also, wait, that's my claymore. Surely. get up higher. It's really nice of the period to hang out and wait while you call your friends and sort through your inventory, isn't it? $20 says court runs over one of her own minds before the fury does. That's exactly what happened. Okay, of course the mod had walked right into that one ready. Of course, I set myself up for that one. Oh my God. What a shit show. I'm so scared. Terrifying. Are there only three rounds loaded? In what? My rocket launcher? Did you see how little damage that rocket launcher just did to him? 
that was an amazing line read. <laughs> it really was. Um. So. That sucks. You guys remember when I beat Vamp? Maybe there's other, more effective weapons. <sighs> I was really hoping I could just, you know, do what I did when I beat Vamp. Just equip the most powerful gun. Blast him, what, four, five times max and it's over. Easy. Uh. Fuck. So. That's not gonna work. Okay, unequip that shit. The win is gonna be worth it? Should I just run up to him and uh, put the good old handkerchief on him? <laughs> oh no. They definitely said sneak up on him. Uh, no. No fucking way. I need to equip something else. Damn, dude. This is so stressful. What if this is was where it forced you to equip the black face paint? Then I I might just give up at that point. Like, oh yeah, well this was a fun game up until now. Really took a turn for the worse there. I don't even remember where he is, or where I am, or what direction he was going, or anything. I'm just really scared. That's my claymore, right? Fuck. earlier it's like the directional on this one is just so much less polished for whatever reason like this one versus two especially i cannot tell what side of the little window he's on right now i don't know if he's to the left or, or the right i can't i don't know i don't know So fucked. It's beyond fucked.
You have your headphones on backwards? It's pretty impossible to do because of the wire. Otherwise, I would probably fall for it. Okay, isn't- how is he not hitting the claymore yet? Wait, what? Did he hit- did he hit the mine? It didn't do shit, okay. Okay, I know nothing about Pokemon, but- Okay, this is a fire Pokemon. Do I need like a water Pokemon or an ice Pokemon or something? Hey, Lucy, how's it going? I am so stressed out right now. <laughs> so stressed out right now. Oh yes, Hobo did unearth the mod comments. Unlike Raven, this dude ain't a little bitch. Ah! Water is super, super effective against fire. Fire is super effective against ice. Hmm. I'm so scared. Just what is the actual fucking move here? Surely if I just keep calling them desperately, they'll just tell me. The Fury's flamethrower is immensely powerful. Do not, under any circumstances, try to approach him from the front. Those flames are incredibly intense. If you get blasted at close range, it's likely to result in a severe burn. Right on. If you get burned, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to treat it. If your body catches on fire, you can put it out by rolling around repeatedly. Oh, really? You can also go into the survival viewer and change out of the burning clothes. So if you catch on fire, take care of it immediately. Okay, well, let's try not to catch on fire, but what do I do about him? That's not an ordinary flamethrower the Fury's using. Normally, flamethrowers use a mixture of napalm and gasoline for fuel. But from what I hear, that guy is Jesus. using liquid rocket fuel. I'm guessing it's probably a mixture of UDHM, unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine, and NTO, nitrogen tetroxide. I'm sure you've seen how potent that stuff is. The Fury's flamethrower is one hell of a weapon. Any frontal attack you make is just gonna get swatted down by the flames. You've gotta circle around him and attack from behind or from the side. With what? <laughs> With what? It's going well, Lucy. You missed some s tier cutscenes today holy shit holy shit this isn't the time to tell me about chemistry it's like i i understand the strat about like you know not approaching him from the front you know with the flamethrower i think that part's pretty obvious my rocket launcher didn't work my claymore mines did nothing those were my two best strats probably in the previous boss fights was the claymores and then just like equipping the most powerful weapon i had um, should we go back and see if we can pick up the helicopter? <laughs> Fuck. Bro! Ain't no way. I don't even, I don't know what direction I'm facing. I don't know where he is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Up from down. Left from right. I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm scared. Oh my god. Dude. What's my other powerful weapon? My sniper. But it's like, where, where am I going to hide to line up a shot? Oh, my tummy is rumbling. Good point. Oh, he's gonna be mad if I eat that. That's damn good. Did he did he say another weapon? 
All I heard was, you know, don't hit him from the front, hit him from the back. Sinya said, don't even dream of wearing the black face paint. Oh my god. No, to answer your question about lining up a shot. He did? I I guess I'm too stressed out to comprehend the instructions or even hear the instructions. Let your anger grow! From behind or the side. With what? Shoot spacesuit man in the back. Gun. Any gun. How was the rocket launcher not effective? on fire um i need to be on not fire they said what oh in the survival viewer in the cure menu okay oh my god don't be afraid to be bold because this guy likes taking baths and fires <laughs> not sure but whatever kojima I don't have any coolant. I am spraying. I'm just hoping for the best. I'm gonna run out of ammo is what's gonna happen. Okay, I guess there's nothing really else I can do about the fire though, huh? Oh, I need to stop, drop, and roll. Oh god, oh god. I'm just fucked. Okay, this is not the right ah! Fuck's sake.
There's such a noticeable difference between three and two. It's kind of weird. Like, why, why was two better? Yeah, I, like when I started the stream today, I was talking about that. It's very bizarre. Oh no! Oh no! I really want to beat him. It's also 11:20. Is really scary though. It's gonna be hard for me to calm down after this. Burn! Just all happening all of a sudden, all at once. Movement is related to your 3D camera. If you use the original overhead movement, it would be more like Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah. That I get. It. I don't know why the directional audio is so bad, though. I'm, I love the camera in this game. This is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. I don't have a... feel like you haven't noticed it though? Are you listening with headphones? Can I go up here? Of course not. I was like, oh, I'll just sit up here and snipe him. I am, but may not be. 
it's like I can get right or left, but... Hollow Bastion Kingdom Hearts ass music. I don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. Look how much damage your shot did though. I am still terrified of this. beyond barbecue Like, I can tell, like, a direction, but I can't tell how far away he is. It's like, the footfall on two was so much better.
He's invincible for a bit. So save your ammo. Just rush him with the shotgun. I bum rushed the end with the M60. Welcome to Escape from Tarkov Life. That game scares me. I don't like that game. Now you can just run after the end from one sniping spot to the next if you're quick enough. Yeah, I was kind of confused as to why the end was so easy. Like, why does he spawn in a circle? That's not what I was expecting at all. It was my first playthrough. I was kind of messing around. I realized it might work. This is... This is a little much. What can I say? The end doesn't spawn. He literally runs from one spot to the next. Why does he go in a perfect circle, though? That seems like I... I guess I just wasn't expecting that because that just does not seem in line with my idea of how Kojima does games. Like, I was expecting it to be a lot harder to find him. So it's not the same every time. They tried something different and it turned out to be a fun fight. It just turned that you can cheese him. Not the same every time. Oh, okay, so I just got a really easy spawn, I guess. Because I was honest, I was so prepared to be backtracking between those three areas and it never, never happened. It normally is much harder? Yeah, that one was like oddly easy. I was not prepared for that. I was expecting a puzzle and there was no puzzle. Oh, Chima, you've done it again. Um. I don't know what I have equipped right now. steps approaching and like passing it's like with this game it's just like right ear footsteps i heard for years about how difficult and interesting the fight with the end is i'm terrible at self games and thought i would struggle that i beat him quickly in my first one i was so disappointed like it's got to be a lot harder on harder difficulties right at half health he doesn't stalk he runs A great first fight at the end. It took a long time and we both traded shots equally. I guess you guys just got unlucky. 
Which is a bummer because the end really is one of the best fights ever. I, I appreciate what it is, like the slow burn boss fight. But I was expecting it to be a lot harder. Like, I mean, I was I was just like pausing the game and yapping. Because like, yeah, I, he just literally went in a circle. <laughs> I was just like, okay, like, he'll probably be, you know, if not at the next one, the next one after that. Don't like fire. The audio just is makes it that much more haunting. Show yourself. Audio, make sure your settings aren't set to mono or something. Oh. I don't, this menu is so bad. It like launches, it, additional settings, it like launches in Edge, like Microsoft Edge. Could be set to TV instead of headphones. Yeah, if I hit if I hit additional settings, it launches Edge. I was trying to change something else a couple days ago, and I realized I was like, "What the fuck is this?" So it's like this is all I have control over right now. I yeah I even with the patch, I'm just convinced that these games must be exponentially better on OEM. Because, yeah, so much was just, like, lost. I think it had potential, but it just didn't It didn't translate well. Or they didn't put much effort into it. I don't know. I never had audio issues on PS2 or PS3. Or... I mean, what is odd, though, is I, I would say 2 did a phenomenal job of directional audio. Like, one of the best examples in probably any game that I've played. Especially considering it's a game from so long ago. Like, this one is a different story. I love what they did with the camera on this one, though. Like, that's such a huge improvement. Makes things a lot easier. I'm so scared.
it was the effort. Konami did the bare minimum. The game has already been ported to PS3 by Bluepoint and were excellent. Konami just took the Bluepoint ports and pushed them to PS5 and didn't update anything or check everything. Hey, guns, what's up? Tip is definitely allowed at this point. I'm terrified of this guy. You can use box to shoot like my cardboard box? Nuh-uh. I don't believe that. No fucking way. <laughs> what I found most frustrating about the fight was that Fury with the Fury is that Snake still can only do his constipation run and that's his top speed. I'm like, dude, you're on fire, run. Yeah. No way. Are you serious, guys? No fucking way. I would have never thought that. No fucking way. I mean, even if you're pulling my leg at this point and you're just like, you know, about to get a really funny clip, <laughs> it's kind of worth it. <laughs> Also, if you haven't yet, call from inside the box, but probably not during the fight. I'm, I'm about to walk through flames in a cardboard box. What could fucking go wrong? <gasps> he thinks right there! Surely he doesn't see me in the box though, right? S tier camo. So scary. I 
flame suit is ripped. Walking over the edge. <laughs> Where is I thought for sure he was gonna go where I just was. Impenetrable cardboard box. Fire resistant. Naturally. I can't see if he's down at the other end, if he has already like snuck up behind me. I have no idea. Okay, I do I think I hear him to the right. Question. Where are you hiding? Okay. How far to the right? I have no idea.
I wonder if the boxing was intentional. I mean, I'm here for it. I'm so scared right now. Like, I'm already just someone that's like very afraid of fire. so close at the same time. So just like so hard to see with all the fire. I, there's no way I would trank him. I can't believe you keep going to the end you can fall off of. Don't remind me.
He just knows where I'm at now. And like, also, I hate the speed that he's coming at me. He can go so fast. And I just can't. just on top. get off for tonight. I'm sad that I didn't beat this, but tomorrow. Tomorrow. Don't forget to save. I think I did right when I came in here, right? Oh yeah, it won't let me see my saves, will it, until I actually... First try tomorrow, incoming. Let's see. see Are you going first. to save? I'll just do a new save. I won't override anything. Oh man. Yeah, I gotta get some amount of sleep today. Christ Good almighty. Luck. Thanks. What what a stream. There was a lot going on today with the cutscenes and then this. I have like a crippling fear of fire that I need to overcome within the next 12 to 24 hours. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. Um, don't forget to decompress with some horror films. Are you making fun of that time that I said that I was relaxing by watching The Shining? It's a, it's a cozy film. Uh, yeah. I gotta get some sleep though. I slept like shit last night. Hoping for better tonight. Because this guy. He's going down tomorrow. He's going down. It is cozy. <laughs> the Shining is a cozy movie. Anyone who thinks otherwise is crazy. <laughs> Dream of the Snake Eater theme song. I woke up with it stuck in my head, Barlog. Maybe I should like listen to it to get it out of my head. Maybe that's the move. Okay, I, I gotta get off. <laughs> I gotta get some sleep. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate the hell out of all of you. Take care. Good night.